Hey, thank you so much for joining me for today's at-home Pilates workout. Today we are going to be using a resistance band for quite a few of the moves. We're going to get into the upper body and shoulders and chest. Then we're going to move into an ab sequence and then we're going to work the lower body. We're going to be stretching throughout using our band. So make sure you've got one and let's go ahead and get started. So we're just going to place the band off to the side. I'm in a kneeling position. If cross-legged is more comfortable for you, please feel free to move. In fact, I'm gonna move into a cross-legged position, but I'm just going to ensure that my hips are evenly weighted. If you wanna be standing for this portion of the workout, that's a good option too with your feet hip distance apart. So we're just gonna begin with some sort of backstroke movements. We're gonna reach back, alternating sides. The spine is nice and long here. The head is resting on top of the shoulders and we're just focusing on mobilizing the shoulders here. So really lengthen through the fingertips as you reach back. Visualize opening through the chest, getting those arms longer with every row back. Good, breathing deeply. Really pull the shoulder back behind you. Good, working out any points of stiffness. Nice fluid motion. We've got three and two, reach to those fingertips and last one each side. Nicely done. Now we're gonna take a hold of our band a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Now, if you don't have the mobility to do all the way back, you're gonna come back and just stretch, pulling the arms back behind you, okay? But if you wanna give it a try, place the band on your knees and then open, rolling the shoulders all the way back. So coming forward, a lot of people think that they can't do this until they do. Just move slowly, listen to your body. Good, and don't come all the way around if that feels uncomfortable for you. So we're just really mobilizing those shoulders, loosening everything up, kind of lubricating the joints. Good. Rolling forward and backward. Nice opening of the chest as you bring the arms back. Try not to let your shoulders bunch up by your ears. Good. Last two. And final one, amazing work. Now we're going to take the band a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Palms are facing down. We're gonna bring the band overhead so the palms are facing forward. Nice strong, strong arms here, stacked through the vertebra so you're nice and tall through the spine. We're gonna pull the band down across the shoulders and lift. Pull the band gently apart as you cross the shoulders and lift, good. Try not to let your head come forward here. Keep your head resting on top of your shoulders. Envision a piece of string, lengthening the crown of your head up toward the ceiling. Good, really draw those shoulder blades together as you pull the band down across the shoulder blades. Good, nice even movement on both sides. Breathe out to pull the band down. So as you warm up, really start pulling the band a little bit further apart, giving it more resistance as you pull down. Good. Opening again through the chest here and working those upper back muscles. Careful here not to arch the lower back or arch any part of the back as you pull the band down. We've got five really pull it apart and four nice open chest last three give it all you've got and two and final one nicely done we're going to bring the band in front of the body the uh, band is at shoulder height a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart belly is plugged in we're going to pull apart keeping the arms strong, keeping them elevated to shoulder height. 
So we're not bending in the elbows here. You're keeping those upper arms really strong and stable as you pull the band apart. Even if you're not pulling it quite as wide as I am now, that's fine. Just as long as you're focusing on those shoulders, those upper arms, you'll feel it into the chest and the back. Keep your navel plugged in. Good. These are tough, especially if done correctly, but they're really an effective way of strengthening the upper body. Good. Now be really resistant of letting your shoulders creep up out of your ears. Think long neck, long relaxed neck. Good. We've got four, three, two. Don't let those arms drop. And final one. Now we're going to hold here. If your shoulders have creeped up, just lower them down. Nice long neck and we're going to pulse. Little controlled pulses, really getting into those upper arms, keeping the band at shoulder height, not letting it drop, straight arms. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Give your shoulders a little bit of a roll. Nice work. I'm gonna sit on my band. If you're kneeling, you'll just place the band under your knees. And we just want it even on both sides. So I'm going to hold the band. If it's too long, just grip it a little bit further down. You might need to adjust your resistance here as you go. I'm going to hold the band between my palm and my thumb. Palms are facing forward. So shoulders are down and level. We're going to extend with a slight bend to the arm and then bring the elbows in. Extend and resist it in. Extend long through the fingers and resist it in. So when I'm talking about resisting it in, I mean really flexing those biceps, working against the resistance of the band to bring the elbows slowly in toward the sides of the body. Good. Breathing. Keep those shoulders down, nice long neck. You can do it, chin is parallel with the floor. Keep those palms nice and open. We've got three, resist it in. Two, reach a bit further. And last one, we're holding and we're gonna pulse. Little controlled pulses, these burn. Keep it up, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and resist it in. Give your shoulders a roll. Reach your fingertips up and round your shoulders down and back for three and two. Melting away any tension and last one. Good. Now we're going to go into some ab work using our band. If at any point it gets too much with the band, you can just release it and do the moves without. All can be done without. So I'm going to take the band about shoulder distance apart in my palms, in my fists, and my palms are facing down. We're going to stack the vertebra, one on top of the other. Knees are bent, legs are hip distance apart, feet are parallel. From here we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're just going to see curve back through the spine and then come forward. So we're breathing out, belly engages in toward the spine and then we're lifting. So lower back, control with the abs, abs into lift. Just a little range of movement here, really focusing on the contraction of the belly to the spine as you lower and abs into lift. So you're curving the spine and then you're tilting the pelvis and lifting up strong, keeping those legs parallel. As your abs start to warm up, you can go back a couple more inches, keeping your feet flat on the floor. Last three, abs in and two. It even kind of burns holding my arms like this after that arm work. So working the arms and working the abs here and lift. Amazing work. 
Now we're going to add a rotation to this movement and a leg lift. So if it's too much with the leg lift, you're going to come back and rotate from the waistline, gently pulling the band apart as you do so. Okay, for the next level up, you're going to extend your leg and then you're going to elevate the leg as you twist to the side. So I'm going to work through the elevation, both feet on the floor or right leg extended, curve back into your C curve with your spine. We're going to inhale here, hips are evenly weighted on the mat and exhale, rotate to the right. Good, and back to center. Rotate to the right, gently pulling the band apart and back to center. <sighs> nice work. So you don't want that left bum cheek lifting off the mat. You want your hips evenly weighted. So you're just twisting from the waist here. Remembering to keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Good. <sighs> Working into the shoulders and the abs, the obliques here. We've got four and three, belly in, last two, and final one. Good work. Now I'm just gonna come to the other side so you can see me properly. You can stay facing forward and we're just gonna switch sides here. So the left leg extends, right leg is bent, we're coming back into the shape of a C. Belly is engaged. Inhale here and exhale, twist to the left. Good. And rotate. Really focus on that waistline as you twist to the side. Nice work. Keep those shoulders down. Toe is pointed. The leg, all the muscles in the leg are contracted here as well. We've got three, twist a bit further, two, make it shake, and last one, and back to center. Extend both legs out long and roll down onto the mat, one vertebra at a time. We're gonna go into our roll over here. So we're going to take the band overhead, inhale to prepare, and exhale to lift up, and reach over, folding over the body. So lower down, pulling your shoulders down, engaging your low abs, bring the band overhead, inhale up, and exhale, fold over. Drop your shoulders, squeeze your thighs, engage your low abs, and ripple back down. Inhale up and exhale to fold. Nice stretch before you engage the whole way down, working those lower abs. Inhale, peel up, exhale, reach and stretch. Drop your shoulders, squeeze your thighs and lower with control. Good, three more. And good work. Last two. Really work your upper abs as you come up and work your lower abs as you roll it down. Last one. Now on this last one, we're gonna hook the band under our feet and flex the feet using the resistance of the band to pull ourselves into a really deep back body stretch. Abs in, fold a little bit more deeply over the lower body, stretching through those legs and the spine. Two breaths here. And lift it up. So keep the band hooked around the bottom of your feet. Make sure if it's moved at all, that it's nice and flat on the bottom of the feet. So if you need to make any adjustments, do that now. Now we're gonna hold the band and just use the resistance of the band to roll down onto the back. So we're gonna go into some leg lifts here. We're going to be lowering and lifting the legs with the support of the resistance of the band. So holding one hand in each side, one side in each hand I mean, we're gonna lower and then abs into lift. 
I really want you to focus on hinging from the hips here. Abs and pull your lower abs in to lift the legs. So you're hinging from the hips to lower. Inhale, exhale, belly to spine. Lowering and lifting. If you can't take quite as much of a range of movement without your low back coming off the mat, then just do a smaller range of movement. Don't let your legs come as close down to the mat because that's going to make it more challenging. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Now if you're good here, we're peeling up. Good, lowering and lifting from our Pilates crunch position. So your chin is gently tucked, little bit of space between your chin and the chest. Your gaze is down on those abdominals and your head is resting on top of your shoulders. Now you can always work through a couple reps like this and if you start to feel strain in your neck, relax your head down for a little rest. <sighs> Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Lowering, abs in to lift. Really focus on those lower abs. Draw your pelvic floor up as you pull your belly button in towards your spine and really get the most out of this exercise. We've got three abs in, last two, and lift, final one, and lift. Amazing work. Now we're going to release one leg from the band, relax your head and neck and shoulders down on the mat. From here, I'm gonna elevate that leg up so it's floating. So now we're gonna go into a single leg lift, lower and lift. If this feels like too much with that leg suspended, you're gonna lower that opposite leg down to the mat. That'll make the movement less challenging. Otherwise, the leg is floating and the floating leg, the toe is pointed. Abs into lift, good. If we're good here, we're peeling up into our crunch position really switching on those abdominals as you breathe out. Good. Point through the toe of the hovering leg. Hinging at the hip, focusing on those lower abs for three and two and one. Bring both legs up and then switch them in the band. Extend the other leg out long, either floating with a pointed toe or pressing down into the mat. Lowering and lifting. Lowering and lifting. Inhale and exhale. Have our head, neck and shoulders if that feels good. Make sure your low back is pressing into the mat. Sometimes I feel like it's almost even easier to touch my lower back to the mat with my head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Good. Nice work. Keep it up. We've got six and five. Give your head, neck, and shoulders a rest if they need it. And three and two. And final one, lift up, bring both legs into the band and sweep yourself up into a seated position. Pull into your band and move back into that forward fold. Stretching through the backs of the legs, deep inhale. Exhale, belly to spine to fold a little bit more deeply over the lower body. We've got three and two and one. Amazing work. Now we're going to fold the band in half and take the band in the fists about shoulder distance apart. We're going to slowly lower down to the floor and find the center of the mat. Now legs are bent here. We're going to squeeze them together, bring the arms overhead. We're going to inhale here and exhale, bringing band to shins. Tapping knees down, lowering head, neck, and shoulders. So your heels are lifted, your toes are tapping. And lift. Lower and lift. So we're going into a double crunch here. So lift your tailbone up off the floor. 
Lift your head, neck, and shoulders as you pull your navel down towards your spine. Imagine a piece of string drawing your belly button down to the mat every time you curl up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower, abs into lift. We've got five, four, abs in, lift a bit higher, three, two, keep those legs squeezing together, and last one, hold, abs are in, hold, 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 lift a bit higher through the shoulders, and relax it down. Amazing work. Now we're going to go into a different variation of that movement with the legs extending as we come up. Now, if that's too much for you, you can go into the previous movement with the knees bent, bringing them in toward the chest. So my legs are squeezing together here. I'm coming up into an extension, tapping the band toward the shins. Lower, tapping the toes, and lift, extending the legs. Lower, and lift. So you're really peeling your head, neck, and shoulders up as you bring the band toward the shins. Mine's touching just under my knees. Or just, yeah, just under my knees. Inhale and exhale. Lower and lift, extend. Good work. We've got three, two, abs in, working hard, and last one, good. Now bring your knees in towards your chest, use your band to hug the knees in a little bit more closely towards you, and just gently rock from side to side, massaging your low back on the mat, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Finishing off our ab work with our double leg stretch. So arms come up, overhead, elevated, legs extend. We're gonna inhale here, and exhale to bring the knees in toward the chest, tapping band to shins. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, squeeze the legs together, exhale, contract everything in. Now if you're good here, you're elevating head, neck, and shoulders. Inhale, extend, exhale, bring it in. You want more of a challenge, you extend on a lower angle, less of a challenge, come up on a higher angle. Just pick that level where your abs are working hard. As you inhale to extend, exhale, belly to spine. Inhale, extend, exhale, draw your navel in. Lift through your pelvic floor as you pull your belly to your spine. For four, three, abs in, two, and on our last one, we're gonna hold, 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 hold for five, four, three, abs in, two, and one, bring it in. Rock gently from side to side, regulate the breath, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Amazing work. Now we are going to place the band just under the right foot, Find the center of the band, and we're going to get into position for some bridge extensions. So I'm holding the band securely so that there's a bit of resistance between the ends of the band and the bottom of the feet. You want your left foot to be just under your knee. So left heel just under your left knee, legs are about hip distance apart here. We're gonna inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna press up through that left supporting leg and then lower, bending the knee into the chest. Lift and lower. Really focus on driving up through the heel of that left leg as you extend the right leg out long. So you're supporting yourself with that left leg. Good. Lift, extend, and lower. Really kick out through that right foot. Nice work, feeling it into the left hamstring and the left glute 
elevate those hips up toward the ceiling for four and three. Good work. Last two and final one. Release it down. Now we're going to bring the right knee in and just take the band off. Place it to the side of the mat so it's handy. And we're going to roll over onto the side so that the left leg is on the mat. Propping yourself up in a comfortable position. We're going to make a bridge, either putting the right leg behind or bringing the right leg forward. And now we're going to target the left inner thigh. So we're going to lift here, lengthen through the toe, and we're going to draw some circles, circling forward. Nice, smooth circles, switching on the left inner thigh muscles. Good, circling forwards. Nice work, keep circling. Try to keep that toe nice and pointed, all the leg muscles engaged as you circle, pause at the top of one of those circles and reverse, circling backwards. Lengthening out from the hip, out through that big toe, focusing on really lifting through those circles. So lifting at the top of the movement, making those inner thigh muscles work really hard. Good. We've got four, three, two, and one. We're gonna pause it here, and now we're gonna pulse. Little controlled pulses. So the inside of your foot is facing up toward the ceiling. Shoulders are relaxed. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You should feel that really contracting and burning in the inner thigh. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Whew. Okay, now we're going to move on to the other side. So place the band around the bottom of the left foot and we're going to roll ourselves down to the mat. So the right heel is underneath the right knee, shoulders are down, band is secured in the fists. We're going to inhale and exhale, lower and drive up through the heel of that right foot. Good. Transfer weight into the heel as much as possible on that supporting leg so you can really power up and feel it in the glutes and the hamstrings on that right side. Get that, those hips up there. Kick through that left foot. Good work. Keep it up. We've got five, four, lift the hips a bit higher. Three, squeeze the right glute. Two, abs are in. And final one. Nice work. Lower down, bring the knee in and take the band off. Place it to the side so that it is handy. And we're going to target the right inner thigh muscles now. So making your bridge either behind the body or in front. Lifting the legs, switching those inner thigh muscles on straight away as we circle forwards. Breathe through it. Really lift the leg up and around, using the strength of your thigh. Good. Slow and controlled, keeping that toe pointed, keeping that leg strong. Shoulders are relaxed. I always have to remind myself of that when I'm doing these moves. For three, two, and one. Pausing at the top of that circle and reversing. Good. Lift the leg as you come up and over. Point hard through the toe. We've got four, three, two, and one. Hold. 
Inner thigh pulses, lift, 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 lift. Keep lifting, keep that leg elevated. Good work, breathe through it. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and relax it down. Amazing work, bring yourself into a seated position. And let's just stretch out those inner thighs. So just hinging forward from the hips, keeping the spine nice and long. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, we're gonna release that and we're gonna finish off with a hamstring stretch. So I'd like you to place the band under the right foot and just roll back. You can keep your left knee bent or you can have it straight and just really focus on keeping that stretching leg straight and stable. Inhale and as you exhale, see if you can draw it slightly closer in towards you, lengthening out through the heel, deepening the stretch. Last breath, we're gonna deepen it even further as we exhale. We're easing a little bit more deeply into it, just drawing that leg a little bit closer in toward the chest whilst keeping it straight. In three and two and one, we release. We're gonna switch the feet in the band. A Little bit of a flex with that stretching leg. Leg is nice and straight, lengthening out from the heel. Inhale. And exhale, ease into it a little bit more. Hold it here. Next breath, we're gonna go a bit deeper. Inhale and exhale, pull the leg that little bit closer towards you and hold for three and two and one. Take the band out from under your foot Roll yourself up to a seated position. Bring your shoulders up and roll them down and back. Amazing work. I hope you enjoyed that resistance band workout and I look forward to exercising with you again next time.